Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with Andre, and this is another edition of TFL Today, and we have some breaking news for you regarding Jeep. Yeah, it's actually surprising news, because Jeep has announced the 2018 lineup, including the Wrangler. Right. And all of us have been clamoring for the next JL, right? The next Jeep Wrangler, but this is JK news. That's right. We just discovered that the JK, at least for half the model year, is going to carry on through 2018. So if you're thinking that the new Jeep that's coming out, the JL, is going to be a 2018 model, we don't think so. Maybe a 2018 and a half, but what are the three new models, special editions that the Jeep is actually kind of saying goodbye to JK? The pickup truck. Oh, uh, pickup truck comes first. Pickup truck first. Yeah, so sorry guys. We'll get to the new models in a minute. They're more trim anyway. Here's the really important bit of news. We recently had an opportunity to find a picture out there showing the new Jeep Scrambler, that's the pickup truck, mm -hmm. towing. Now, the reason why this is really important is because of how it was towing. We were able to see that it had a weight distributing hitch, possibly a class three or class four tow hitch mm -hmm. setup, and that it was towing a, well, for, the, for the vehicle, a very large trailer. So there are a few assumptions we were able to make based on what we saw. Yeah, and this information also comes to us via uh, JT, that's the code name for the next Scrambler, uh, re, um, Scrambler Forums. Right. And also the fourwheeler.com had that image. So thank you guys uh, for providing that image. Yeah, thanks for that image. Uh, and um, here's the thing. So the JT, the Scrambler, is based on the next generation JL Wrangler platform. It's stretched out though. That's right. It's a crew cab, four doors with a sizable bed, which I, I'm happy to see. Right. And uh, the trailer that we're talking was a box trailer, yep. dual axle. Dual axle. So that tells me we have a dual axle trailer too that Indeed we tow. Indeed we do. And what is that base weight on that trailer? Well, that trailer weighs empty, about 4,400 pounds. Right. And then you can load it up further. So um, if Jeep wants to compete with other mid-sized pickup trucks like the, uh, well, the ZR2, which tows 5,000 pounds, right. but the diesel uh, regular Colorado tows way more. Well, 7,700 7, pounds, that's the rear drive only. Yes. Four-wheel drive drops a little bit, it's 7,600 7, yeah. pounds. So we, um, there you go. Is that, that an image? That's in 3D, guys. Ooh. That's us being we, high tech. We really are trying to find ways of <laughs> showing you the photos of what we're talking about. But if you look at the photo, if you study it a little bit, you'll see a few things. One of which is the fact that it has that weight distributing hitch and also how much sag is actually on the rear end of that truck. And it's yes. not as much as I expected. Yeah. Now, the bottom line here is this. If Jeep wants to compete in the mid-sized truck market, they need a vehicle that is able to tow between 5,000 and 7,700 pounds, somewhere in the middle there to be competitive. If they go under 5,000 pounds, they risk ridicule because, well, the only vehicle that tows 5,000 pounds that's considered a pickup truck is the Honda Ridgeline. Yes. And Jeep, I don't think, will want to go underneath that weight. Right. So, obviously, we don't have the specifications yet. These is, this is us inferring things from pictures. Massive speculation. Yes. Massive. But at the same time, it's some logic, and you guys should check it out, and please tell us what you think. We will be stopping midway through this to answer a few of your questions, by the way, and when this turns into a video, we will read it and we'll answer some more questions. Okay, let's move on um, to the next thing. By the way, Roman, any questions about the pickup truck? People are saying it's ugly. And well, this ground is going to be a 2019. Yeah, at least. At least a 2019. At least, maybe 19 and a half. I'm thinking 2020. Yes. Because they, want, they don't want to overshadow their Jeep that's coming out first, right? Mm -hmm. So if you introduce both of those vehicles, one can eat into the other's sales. So I would imagine that they'll go at least one year on a cycle with the JL before they introduce the Scrambler. And that's just, once again, speculation, but it makes sense. Very and, boxy, people are saying. Yeah, Very. and the JL is going to be unveiled in Los Angeles in November at the LA Auto Show. Yes, and we'll and be there. It'll actually, they'll be building it in November as well. And we have that information on this channel, TFL Now, and also on our websites, TFL Car and TFL Truck. So all the info is there. Right. And by the way, the story about the pickup truck, the Scrambler, is on TFL Truck. Uh, and that went up, I believe, yesterday. So you guys can check that out on that website. So let's move on a little bit. And by the way, we're apologizing for the background noise. It sounds like... You know, can't hear it? Okay, great. <laughs> Sorry, noise. Okay, yes. let's move on to the three new models that are coming out for the JK Wrangler. Now, first of all, these are more like trim 
than anything else. So not a whole lot going on, but we do have it on paper what each one has. So let's first tell you what the three names are while Andre gets... Here's ready. my cheat sheet. This is cheat sheet. We literally just got this stuff yes. and like piled it together yes. as quickly as we could. Uh, the Wrangler JK Golden Eagle. Now, for those of you who are into nostalgia, you'll like the fact that the Golden Eagle name is back. I do not know if there's a giant sticker of a flaming chicken on the hood. Um, there might be. There might we don't be. have a picture of this yet, by the we way, guys. We don't have guys. any pictures yet. Um, but Jeep says Golden Eagle will have a center and side hood decals. So maybe the chicken will be there. The flaming chicken could be there. Um, but anyway, some of the other options on the Golden Eagle package are Premium 10 soft top, available tan half doors, body color grill, fender flares, um, steel front and rear bumpers, 17 inch rims with BF Goodrich KO2 tires. Okay, so as you can see, I mean, there are a couple of functional things. The, well, one functional thing, the tires. Everything else is just a nice little upgrade. So for those of you who dig that. Oh, By the way, I, re I remembered something. Oh, okay. The Jeep behind us, this is our long-term Jeep. It belongs to Tommy. And Tommy recently did a lift you know, together with the whole team and Devin's car care, who is our Jeep mechanic. And um, you can see that video if you become a Patreon su supporter. Patreon.com slash TFL car. You can see the video, the first episode of the lift. It's, um, guys, look at the end result. It's pretty amazing. Actually, you can see it on Sunday, too. You can see it on Sunday, too. It'll be published on the car channel. There you go. Okay, let's move on to the Wrangler uh, JK Freedom Edition. Freedom. Yes, um, this says it has a military themed exterior and interior design cues. Um, includes uh, fender badges, decals, once again, uh, crystal, granite crystal paint on the wheels as well, body color fenders, heavy duty rock rails. So, I mean, these are pretty butch, you know, looking uh, additions. Yeah, um, I'm not sure, sure about what, what is it? Cr crushed granite? Is that what they said? or? Gloss granite crystal. I that's wouldn't use the, the paint. word crystal in anything that's hardcore off-roading. Uh, painted wheels. Yeah, painted wheels. <laughs> I, 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 we all have our issues. That's one of mine. Uh, yes. Okay, let's move on to the Wrangler JK Altitude Edition. And after this, by the way, we'll take a few of your questions. So what we have with the Altitude? Well, the Altitude is actually also related to the Sahara, more luxurious model. Mm -hmm. So, and in this case, it's 18-inch rims with Bridgestone Dueler tires. So not as hardcore off-road setup, but more l luxurious uh, trim. Power bulge hood, standard body color hardtop, uh, black tail lamp guards. So a few you know, visual touches to make it just stand out just a little bit. You know, one of the things, now you guys know we're Jeep fans, and, and we, we we're pretty happy with a lot of the stuff the FCA has built in the past. But with that being said, FCA is the absolute king of taking models that are way past their prime and stretching them out mm -hmm. for another year or two and finding new ways of getting you guys interested in them to sell them. As a matter of fact, tell them about the sales figures that you found out about August. This yes. is crazy. Well, this is September 1st, right? right, right. And August sales numbers just were announced uh, this morning. And J Jeep Wrangler sold almost 14,000 units, just the Wrangler. Just the Wrangler. In August, which is one of the biggest months for their sales. Um, and I think for the year, if you look at the first eight months, uh, over 134,000 units. Now tell them- That's the old Wrangler. That's the, that, this is the old Wrangler we're yes. talking about. I still haven't had the new one, right? So last year they sold less. Yes. So somehow they They're found improving. a recipe to make it improve over the course of a year. Wow. That's so, and I think, you know, everybody loves customization, right? right? And this is what these special editions are. Customizing the Jeep, adding a few more touches, you know, making it unique, making it your own. They are limited edition, but we have no idea what the actual numbers are going to be by the time they're done with them. Knowing Jeep, they'll build as many as people ask for. That's just kind of what they do. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get to some questions before we, um, Go Tell you our time. schedule. Yes. Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite special edition Wrangler? I kind of like the Kona. I, I don't know. It's just kind of cool. Reminded me of like. You should repeat the, the question. Oh, what? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Go to here. Um, what's my favorite? Our favorite. Um, no, your favorite. Me. I have my own. I, I have one. What's my favorite <laughs> uh, special edition Jeep? I like the Kona edition. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of special editions, specifically because of what you see behind me. The idea of being able to customize a vehicle, bring it up from something kind of innocuous to something that's cool, 
that's kind of what I'm about. As such, I'd probably get the Willys, um, something along those lines. I like what they've done, and then I'd take it a step further. My favorite, I had a, a few, uh, maybe an hour in the new Recon edition oh, yeah, of the yeah, Wrangler, yeah. and it just has like a few special touches, like the belts. I think there were red seat belts, and just it just sits a little bit higher. I like just, red seat belts. Yeah, it's yeah. just awesome. Um, oh, by the way, uh, there is a color. I don't know if they still use it called Re uh, Rescue Green. That color, I love. So if they had another edition that had that color, that would go after that. All right, anything else? Yeah, sure. People want to know how many doors the uh, new Scramble will have. Will it be a two-door, four-door, or will it be an extended cab? Uh, okay, so those of you who are asking. That's the question. Yeah, so for those of you who are asking, uh, how many doors the Scrambler is going to have? As far as we know, with all the test models we've seen, Four. Four. We haven't seen any shorter cabs yet. Nothing yet. No. I, I would imagine they would consider that if there was a big outcry for it, which, frankly speaking, I don't think there will be. But uh, so it's a four door. It would be basically. It looks like it's around the same size as you know a regular uh, Jeep would be with you know the unlimited with the four doors. Also, doesn't the back open up? Doesn't is on the on the JT on the Scrambler. Well, I don't think the back opens up. We haven't seen any evidence of that. But We're talking about have, the back window flipping up or but not. But it has convertible tops. Yeah, so it does So the soft that. top and the um, hard top removable uh, panels are going to be on the Scrambler as well. You know, back in the old days, uh, FCA, before they were FCA, when it was uh, still Dodge with trucks, they had one of the few trucks that was a convertible with the uh, Dakota. The Dakota convertible. Convertible, yeah. So... This is a little bit different, obviously. There, there you go. Anything else? Yeah, sure. Uh, people want to know where they can buy your shirt, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> really? That was a special edition. This is 2015 Motor Mountain shirt. Yeah. And uh, should we, if there is enough <laughs> requests, uh, we, could we, print them again, I guess. we could uh, maybe reprint some of these shirts, but they're gone. We placed them in every state when we went along and yeah. those of you who found the shirt with the belt buckle, uh, you got it. Have this, we know there's 50 out there at least. Although probably more like 48 because a few <laughs> may have vanished into the ether. Give them a hint about the special trip we're working on. Just a hint. Okay, there is a hint. Okay. Here mm. we go. All right. Uh, the, uh, let me put it to you this way. Think about what we've done with Motor Mountain USA and what we could do in the future with new products from Jeep. We have a really good relationship with them. And more importantly, we're Coloradans and we love going off-road. So driving one of those things somewhere in the US, maybe from point A to point B somehow. There's some good stuff coming on, and hopefully within the next month or so, we'll be able to make some major announcements about that. Yeah, we're working on it. Nothing is official yet. We, official. we haven't closed this project. I mean, we haven't finalized it, So, but we're working on something. Krista says she's gonna break into your house and steal it. Ooh. Krista? Yeah. Awesome, Krista, go for it. Uh, I have massive dogs. No, no, <laughs> but um, there's... Um, there's always a chance that we can find a used one of these on eBay, and so uh, Where give that can a shot. Where get our, our shirts, Andre? Oh, our regular shirts. Yeah. Um, we have our regular shirts uh, via teespring.com. So if you go to teespring.com slash tfltruck17, or search for tfltruck oh, there. Um, tfltruck has a, in the header TFL gear link. So if you click on the TFL gear link on the truck site, and we'll improve that and add it also to our car site as well. Yeah, we're, we're just getting the uh, you know getting our hands on how swag is supposed to work. So, be patient with us. We will have more in the future. Swag is not our primary, uh, <laughs> you know, the thing we do all the time. We do videos, yeah. so that's what we focus on. I was thinking about breakfast cereals in the future. Can you mention people, TFL breakfast cereal? People want to know how Tommy likes to lift in tires, and you should talk about that video. Okay, be before and after videos. So, so uh, what Roman was saying is that uh, you guys are interested in what Tommy thinks about this lift and the setup, how it drives, and everything else. We highly recommend that you, uh, if you are a Patreon, look at that video. It's available for you now. And if not, wait Sunday. until Saturday. Sunday. Sunday, I'm sorry, Sunday. And uh, you'll be able to watch the video and get Tommy's reaction and everything else. Before and after. He drove yeah. the Jeep with the standard suspension, stock. Right. And then yeah. afterwards. Are you this. willing to, to test the Lightning? Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can test the Ford Lightning. Uh, and where do we get one? Anybody have one? B bring if one any over. If you guys have one, bring it on over. We'll take it to our track and have our way with it. Yes. It'll or give great. it to Paul, our race car driver, or take it to Bandemir uh, drag strip and drag race it as well. Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we have no qualms about that. We do allow, I mean, you have to sign a waiver, but uh, we do allow <laughs> you guys to bring your vehicles out if you really want to. Yes. And, you know, suffer the high altitude issues that we have up here. And it's a lot of fun, at least for us. More yeah. questions? Yeah, yeah, people want to know what happened with Rusty Boy. 
<laughs> Rusty Boy is sitting in, behind yeah, the building. It's behind the building, rusting and falling to pieces. Becoming lighter, actually. This is Tommy's plan. He wanted it to rust a little bit more so it would be faster. <laughs> so that's why. Rusty Boy is having some engine issues still. Yeah. And uh, it does run uh, somewhat. And uh, But Tommy is, you know, he's actually in well, school. Rusty Boy will be featured in a video next week, won't it, Andre? Let's hope so. We, we're yeah, trying to that. we're trying to do another video where we take all our old project trucks off road, including Mr. Truck's uh, Dodge Zilla. So hopefully, Rusty Boy will fire up and go up uh, in the mountains. No, all three up Goldmine Hill. Also, but also, yeah, and all three up Goldmine Hill. But also, we have a new project coming up, a whole new video series. So, uh, was it Make It Lucky? Getting Lucky? Getting yes, lucky. Getting Lucky is a new series. We have a teaser on our truck channel and truck website. So take a look at that Getting Lucky yeah, series. Yeah, that may indicate something else that's in our fleet now. And quite yes. frankly, I think our fleet needs some thinning. I wanted to get Roman. Also the Aztec. Don't forget the Aztec. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I hate that vehicle. Okay, any more questions before we move on to the last bit? That's it. Okay. All right, guys. One last thing we wanted to throw out to you is the upcoming events for us because we are on the move. It is about show season. Once show season kicks in, it's from it's running, uh, running, September, running. late September, all the way to about February. Really heavy duty stuff in terms of show. Well, actually, uh, April, April, because that's the New York Auto Show. Mm -hmm. So this is what we got coming up in the immediate future. Uh, we have the Texas State Fair. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, there's more. Um, next week, I'm going to a trailer convention in Indianapolis. That's right. NATDA, and I'm gonna be looking for cool products there, uh, new trailers, new uh, truck beds. Everything has to do with trucks. That's why he's dressed like a cowboy today. He's trying to get in the mood. He's got boots. He's got uh, the belt buckle, which is, by the way, the Motor Mountain belt buckle. My boot. Yeah, those boots are cool, dude. I like yes. them. Um, okay, so so you're going to be going to that yes. fair. Yes, then State Fair. Then the State Fair of Texas. Yes. Which is in Dallas, yeah? Yes, and okay. that's at the end of September. That's the end of September. And then after that is uh, SEMA. Yes. And then the LA Auto Show. Yes. The LA Auto Show, by the way, the dates have moved a little bit. It used to be before Thanksgiving. Now it's after. Now it's after Thanksgiving. And that's actually really good because we also have the Tokyo Motor Show, which I'm not going to this year, but oh. hopefully soon. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the um, North American International Auto Show. In January. In January. So those are all kind of uh, you know lined up to go down. And then after that, we've got Chicago, you got in New York. And of course, uh, Easter Jeep Safari. It's all coming up around the corner. Honda Seal wants to know when Nick is going to buy a new set of clothes. Nick. Miles. Nick. Uh, oh, Nick Miles. He wears the same clothes on every show. Well, Nick, oh, dude, he's mm, fashionable. I don't know mm. about that. I actually admire that little guy. He's able to squeeze into some really cool clothes and make them you know, look cool. I'm a big oaf. I mean, I'm the one who should be yelled at because I seriously <laughs> like wear t-shirts and crap all the time. When are we driving the new Mustang? People when are we driving the new Mustang? It's a really good question. Not that far away. There is a special event that is coming up. We're going to keep it under wraps until we have it all confirmed, but just take our word for it. What, a couple months maybe? Yeah, a couple months, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, before the LA Auto Show, it's entirely possible that we will get our hands on some Ford products, including the Mustang. So stay tuned for that. We will announce it once it's confirmed. And the reason why the State Fair is interesting, oh, by the way, we forgot the Texas Truck Rodeo in October. Oh, totally forgot. How could I forget the Truck Rodeo? Yeah. I mean, uh, but the State Fair is interesting because uh, automakers actually unveil things at this State Fair. Like right. last year, the uh, TRX, the supercharged Ram concept truck that was beast. unveiled. Yeah. So you may see something interesting in Texas. Obviously, it's a big truck country. And um, obviously, our hearts go out to all the people struggling through yeah, the flooding. Yeah, so. we, we know. I mean, technically speaking, the rains are over in Houston, but the flooding's not. And it's going to take a long time. So, guys, you know, best of luck to you out there. We are thinking of you. Uh, should we wrap this up? Yes, I think okay. we can. Anything else, Roman? Nope, that's it, dude. Okay, guys. Stay tuned for other live broadcasts that will be coming out in the near future. And for uh, TFL Car and Trucks, Roman, Andre, and Nathan saying goodbye. Thanks, guys.